Yes, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, Tankers of Blitz Universe, to the channel. As you can see, um, it is still the garage, the 112 Glacial. Still not a fan of this tank, I still don't really like it. But I've stripped it down, I've removed all the consumables, the provisions, the ammunition. I can't remove the equipment because that is set on this tank anyway. Uh, you can't remove the camouflage, which is a little bit annoying. But um, I have I've played a few more games after we did the video. And I'm going to show you two of those, or actually the last two games I played in the tank. And why am I going to show you these last two? After this one, I was seriously considering to never play this tank again, because it was just... Uh, it was... Bleh, it was just... Pfft. You know, games where you, where you really think, why am I actually playing this? Honestly, guys, I know it is Mad Games Weekend. Uh, we have a great 183 compilation video coming up. I know that these events bring people to the game that aren't that... Savvy yet that skill etc. But still after this game I was thinking oh yeah whatever. Uh, we do manage to hit this figure 101 p on the move with my dispersion. Uh, we hit him on the cupola but we didn't penetrate he penetrated us so okay well fair enough. We're going to shoot uh, this guy then the defender we're going to aim for his cupola and we hit him on the commentlet. And this is how I know my glacier. This is the glacier how it performs. This is what this tank is all about about like a really crappy a crappy gun, uh, so uh, I figured, well, let's just go for the heat straight through the front of this uh, of this Tiger 2, and then we hit him on the gun. Yeah. Luckily, we nicely hold down. We are bouncing uh, shots. We bounce two shots. We're going to shoot this guy with heat straight through the front because I was seriously. I was just thinking, why, 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 why bother? Why should I bother playing? Let's just stay hold on over here. And I did find out actually, which I didn't quite know before, because I'm a bit patient usually, a bit reluctant to push in, a bit tentative, maybe a bit, a bit of a coward. But I was, I wasn't aware of the fact that if you actually sit over here, you can really counter any tank that is sitting right over there, where that Tiger II is sitting and the the the, um, the T32 is uh, is located. So. Why not go over here, stay here, and then miss a heat shell on his cupola, which just not misses by this much, but by that much. I'm going back towards the heat shell, straight through the front of this Tiger 2. Here we go, and we miss. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Guys, but we got a, we got two bases. Uh, we are tanks now. Well, we got two bases. We got a healthy KV4. As you can see, we're going to go for this v, uh, VK. We can't shoot him. Can we at least shoot a Tiger? Yes, we can. And we track him in place as well. We have a healthy I3 sitting over there. We're bouncing yet another shot. This is not looking that bad. And as I was thinking that, I realized the KV4 had been taken out because he went onto a bridge. He went across the bridge. And then he went back across the bridge. It was a really interesting tactic to watch. It was just the way he performed that graciously going across the bridge and then going back across the bridge and then poof, exploding in space. And here they come, here they come, those vultures. They are just rushing into me. I've blocked 2.4K damage in total. We've blocked 2.8K in total. We're gonna shoot an AP shell through the front of the T28 Defender. We are gonna uh, make him, I think, miss uh, or, or shoot me once. Uh, this one, that one's going to miss. The Vico on has shot me. I'm accidentally loading a heat shell. We're shooting this T28 Defender up the air. So I was hoping for HE. We got 43 hit points left, which is obviously not enough to win this game. And here comes the VK and he's going to bump into me and then, pfft, I got ass killed by a VK. Yeah, F. But guys, we got two bases. And look at the scores. We have a Borsig, which can one-shot the Jacques Panther 2. We have this uh, uh, IS3 sitting over here. We could actually win this one if the Borsig manages to clear the Jacques Panther 2. The IS3 is trying to find shots. He has been sitting over here next uh, to this uh, rock. And the Borsig is just kind of waiting. He doesn't want to get shot by the Arc Panther 2. Oh, he can still win this one, guys. Come on. Cheer with me. Mm. Black and sugar. And there's going to be a brrr moment in this game where you, th where you honestly start thinking, <laughs> is this real? Just watch. Just, just watch right now. This 
Tiger's rolling around, I don't know where he's aiming, and then this happens. One, two, three. Not the exploding of the Borsig, but the Jagdpans are bouncing on the Borsig. Seriously, I mean, bless the guy, he did 1.8k damage, he tried to carry his way, but Dima Pronik in the KV4 graciously going across the bridge and then back across the bridge and then poof! Yeah, it happens guys, it happens. But I was seriously thinking after this game, oh crapperoni, this is, um, I don't like this. Uh, shout out to uh, the VK on the red team, uh, tank destroyer underscore hero. Who sent me his replay and said, Martin, it was an honor to have you in the game and to squish it to death with my German fat booty. So, GG, buddy. Well played. After that, I played this game. And I was looking at this and I, I saw a T34-1 on the red team and I was thinking, oh boy, fail to. Let's just have another sip, shall we? I saw a Pantera in platoon with an Annihilator on my uh, on my own team. Um, Reds have got a KV4 and a T34-1. There are, are a tier uh, 9 tanks as well, an E75 and a standard B. I'm looking, looking at this, I'm thinking standard B, ML1, Pantera, T34-1. I think we're gonna lose the hill. But why not raise the gun, salute the team, go there anyway. Oh, come on T49, please get the hell! Fuck! <laughs> I'm calm. I'm calm. I'm not gonna do anything strange yet. I'm gonna knock a tree down because uh, why not? And then the E75 pops up and he's uh, looking around. I'm gonna knock this tree down to get a little bit of cover maybe. Uh, I don't know. Can I shoot the E75? No, I'm not tall enough. Can I shoot another tank? No, we are already getting flanked. Uh, what is happening? What is happening? I don't want to get shot by the ISU 152. The standard B is running away. What shall we do you can see I'm again being a bit tentative, being a little bit tentative, and the Panther two was not, but that does give me the opportunity to cross up to the hill, at least take this position because I was kind of willing to take that shot into my side. The Panther two had just gone poof, and uh, we've reached the hill. Right, we are in position. Can we spot somebody? Can we spot somebody? Can we spot somebody? Uh, no, we cannot. Uh, we're probably proxy spotted now by a tank uh, down below. Uh, maybe the KV-4 is somewhere up over there. We are, are spotted. I don't know where the IG-152 is. And that is not a very reassuring thing to do. Martin, for crying out loud, get your gun in the game. You stupid coward camper. Yes, sir. No problem as well. We're going to bounce on this T-34-1. After 1 minute and uh, 40 seconds in the game, I finally shoot my gun and I miss. Hello KV4, you've shot into the rock, that's valuable information to know. The WZ111, a lot of numbers, is running backwards. We can shoot this guy now. We are going to shoot him with uh, AP, I think we get, we are... Uh, Thank you WZ, a lot of numbers. You bumped into me, I had a clear shot on the T34-1, but it wasn't to be. This is one of these games, and we've all had them, where you start thinking, I might as well give up. But this time, I wasn't gonna give up. I was gonna, I was gonna sell my, uh, what are you call it, sell my skin dealer. I was just thinking about, let's just, let's just, let's just go down swinging. Let's just go down and just try to do as much damage as possible. Martin, it's only 779. Yeah, I know, I know. But you ain't seen nothing yet. T49 uh, blows up the uh, standard B. The Annihilator is rolling forward and there's an IG-152 not spotted yet. A T34-1 to his right hand side. Then that means that the Annihilator goes... Poof. Disaster waiting to happen. Really, really trying to go for a pixel shot with HE here. But uh, we shot the rock. Why not? But I'm still kind of healthy, guys. I mean, our T49 has not... Pick, uh, read, uh, read the memo yet because he's uh, rushing this T34-1 and then he goes poof. Honestly guys if, you, if you've been figuring out where the red tanks are and I'm not covering the map with my hat if you know where the reds are or where they aren't but 
teammates are getting shot, you can kind of figure out where they are. And this is now, this is a good move. The T30 is uh, going in again. Tonight, only new teams, says uh, the T49. Uh, true, true that. I was having my fair share of uh, noob teams as well. The T30 takes out the T34-1 because he was uh, a little bit... Uh, I don't know, maybe a little bit aggressive. The Pantera is a stock tank. He doesn't have that strange muzzle brake on the front of the tank, which means that I shouldn't worry too much about him. But it's now a 1 versus 3. And the KV4 is pushing in, the, the Pantera is pushing in. And do note that the ISU 152 hasn't been spotted yet. But I have a bit of a feeling that he's sitting in the usual camping spots on the left-hand side of the red spawn. At least if you look from, uh, from, the, uh, from the map. You know where he is. I mean, the Annihilator exploded and a lot of tanks exploded on the island. I know where he is. We're going to go for the heat shells because we have to punch through this, uh, for, through the front of this KV-4. I'm not interested in the Pantera yet. One shot into him. Yes, angle up towards the Pantera. Bounce another shot. There we go. 1235 damage blocked. And uh, we're going to go with another heat shell. AP shell. Yes, AP shell. Don't push me in front of an ISU. Can't punch you through the front. Heat shell. Anyway, there we go. 386. Nice roll. Don't push me in front of an ISU. 152. Don't push me in front of... <laughs> hot, hot, hot! Extinguish the fire and boom! There we go. We're gonna blow up this guy, the KV4. The uh, Pantera has managed to uh, shoot me once and he can shoot me twice. There we go. Uh, but that's all well and good. I'm not stupid enough to push right in front of the IG-152. He bounces another shot, a little bit of gun impression, and we've cleared the P44 Pantera. And honestly, guys, I'm about to make the one, one single mistake in this. <laughs> Just done it. The one single mistake I'm going to make in this entire game was just right now. I knew that little bugger was sitting right over there wanking in the bush. And I still pulled out... Uh, I still... You know, I should have waited a little bit longer. But we do spot him over here. We're going to shoot him uh, once. There we go. Thank you. He is looking at me now. I am looking at him. Out of sniper mode, popping adrenaline because I want to get one more shot into him. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. He looks at me, turns around the gun, and he shoots. Thank you. This is what exactly what we wanted to have and then we can just roll over the ridge i have all the time in the world to shoot him once more for 457 and this is going to be a nice mexican standoff at mines and i'm not reloaded in time i was hoping i was but i'm not reloading in time for uh for me to shoot this ice human 52 and i don't really have the gun depression to poke over the ridge and expose my turret armor to him because uh, i mean i'm at 131 in terms of hit points which means that i can go poof very easily if he splashes HE on my turret and I was hoping he would try to push on towards the entrance of the mine but apparently Mr. King of ISU 1521979 is not going to do that so I'm hoping by by going back and forth and back and forth that I will make him shoot and I'm knocking down a bush that he might see and then he might start thinking, oh, he's actually pushing right into the entrance. Is he going to look now? Yeah, he's, oh, he's looking, he's looking. Shoot, 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 shoot. He doesn't shoot. That is a little bit annoying. Can we at least go for a, a AP shell, heat shell, HE shell, whatever. I'm still loaded with the heat shells. What we're going to do, he is not spotted. And I'm thinking, screw it, risk it for the biscuit. I'll just pull in front. Here we go. One, two, three, and boom, he shoots me. And wait a bit, wait, three, but he shoots me. And then I shoot him and we win the game and we survive at... 11 hit points, and I mean, the game was over so quick that the should think of trying to come up here. It didn't even have time to finish. So that was that. We've aced this hunk of garbage. We did get a high caliber, a steel wall, as you can see, a Globinus medal as well. Um, and shout out to King of Ice Humor 52. We were sitting in the back, but honestly, if you look at the damage and the way our team performed, that was the right way to play uh, for him, I think. GG, buddy, well played. Um, but... I've got the ace, so I'm happy. I'm happy. And as said, I'm seriously contemplating now to sell this tank because I don't really enjoy playing it. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, tankers of Blitz Universe. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this weekend. Uh, take care of the next week. 183 Mad Games compilation coming up very soon. And a lot more goodies. So stay tuned. Cheers. Happy tanking.